St. John 13, 34 and 35. St. John 13, 34 and 35. I read just a little bit of it earlier. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all men will know yes. that you are my disciples if you love one another. One another. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The marks of a disciple. Yes. The marks of a disciple. This is February, <laughs> a short month. Black History Month, a month where individuals also celebrate Valentine, getting close to the rodeo, mm -hmm. yeah, getting close to Lent. Mm -hmm. there, there is a saying that they used to say, you see my glory, but you don't know my story. You, you, you see my glory, but you don't know my story. That, that, until you told me that one of my coworkers, I, I call him uh, Chief, one of the guys that work with me, and his dad always come up there and visit with him. I tell him, man, you sure look good. He said, you see my glory, <coughs> but you don't know my story. You, in other words, you, you see me now. But you don't know what I've been through. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and when we look back and studied Negro history and <laughs> studied the love and success of the cowboys uh -huh, uh -huh. for the rodeo is about to start, they all have one thing in common that they have all paid their dues. Oh yeah, if you want something, you, you got to go through some things. My, my grandmother, Ella Wiley, used to always say, you can't preach if you haven't been through some things. So this month we will, we will concentrate on love and loyalty through discipleship. In our text, Jesus, in the book of John, it's, John deals with Jesus in a very unique fashion. Uh -huh. I like I like John. Uh -huh. I like John, and and because <laughs> John deals with Jesus in the first twelve chapters. Jesus is in the public. Yes, yes. He's he's talking to Sadducees and and scribes, and he's he's. His main topic or subject during the first 12 chapters is the light. Yes. He want men to know that I am the light uh -huh. Uh -huh. of the world. Uh -huh. And as long as you have me, you don't have to worry about darkness. And yeah. the first 12 chapters, he constantly tells the world, the public, I am the light, I am the light, I am the light. And, and we need to know in our life that there is a way out yes, yes, yes. of every situation and circumstance that you have that Jesus Christ yes. is the light of the world. There is yes. no situation, yeah, yeah, yeah. no circumstance that you are never at the point yeah. of no return. Yes. And, and we need to tell our young folks because sometimes they get, they get disgusted and confused yes. and abused yes. Yes. and feel that there is no way out. Yes. Amen. Amen. And even in the school now, one of the, one of the things that they're dealing with now is bullying. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's for real. Yeah. And we need to tell our young folks that are in school that even if you're being bullied, 
that you need to go to the authorities and, and talk with your parents because it's a real fear. Scared to go to school. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so we need to let them know that, that there is a God that sits high but looks low. So in chapter 13, and, and did you see Sister Ross? She said, Brenda is gone, but these children are the ones that it's going to affect. Yes. We, we need to know that even though God took Brenda, he's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's still a chance. There's still a way out. Oh, no way. Yeah. But in chapter 13, he, he leaves all of that. And, and chapter 13 Jesus Christ goes to what we call the upper room discourse. He leaves the public eye and he goes to those that what we call his inner circle. Uh -huh. and, and he talks to them in a room, closes the door, Sister Hicks, Brother Hicks, closes the door like we are now and said, Brother Carl, you're my special ones. I've dealt with the public and they have re rejected me. Uh -huh. but, but now I have a special message for you. I want to let you know that I won't be here much longer, but I want to tell you something uh -huh. that, that needs to stay with you while I'm gone. His attention is now on his own. And that's when he turns and he says, true discipleship yes. is what I'm building here. Yes, yes. That I give to you a new, a new. command. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. That you love one another. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, is, is unique because every sorority uh, Fraternity, every club has its creeds, has its habits, has its rituals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. If you're acute, yeah, you, click. you believe in one thing. Yeah, yeah. If you're alpha, yeah, yeah. You believe in, in, in something else. Everyone has his his own creeds and, and habits and ritual, but uh -huh. but in discipleship, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's different. Because discipleship, you are, you're not, it's not what you are. Yeah, 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 say that. But it's what God yeah. has made yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The discipleship is, is, is not based on how good you are and what we are and what we stand for. This yeah. And discipleship is talking about love and purity and unselfishness. Yeah, 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 yeah. I give. You a new command. Yes, yes. That you love one another. It's, 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 it's new. Uh -huh. And that is not new because if we search the scriptures and we, we find in the book of Leviticus 1918, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. dealing with the Mosaic law, God had already told them, love your neighbor. Yeah, 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 yeah. As I as you love yourself. God had already told them, you have to be true to your neighbor as you are to me. Yeah. But, but Christ goes a little bit further and says, as I have showed you. That's the personal thing that Christ is talking about. Well, let us dissect this text. Uh -huh. Jesus, Jesus told them by this, talking about love. All men will know that you are my disciples uh -huh. if you love one another. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Amen. Dr. Vernon McGee tells this story. He says, my daddy died when I was young. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and uh, I went and stayed with uh, two of my Aunties, 
and an uncle. Dr. McGee says this. He says, my, one, of my, one of them was a Baptist and the other was a Presbyterian. He said, but my uncle was an unbeliever. He was a big drinker, but he didn't believe in going to church. He said, but every Sunday after church, he would hear the Baptist dirt, and then he would hear the Presbyterian dirt. Yes, yes, yes. My two aunts would come home, and they would tell my uncle, Everything that's happening negative in the Baptist church. And my other one would say everything that's happening negative in the Presbyterian church. He said, but years later, on his deathbed, one of my aunties asked the other one, why yeah. did not he come to Christ? Throughout all of these years of me and you and him staying in the house together, and, and being around him and, and going to church and talking about Christ, he never accepted Christ. Dr. McGee said these words. He could not hear the gospel. Yeah. The gospel because of the gospel. Uh -huh. All right. Come on, sir. That he heard the gospel so much uh -huh. that he didn't want to hear the gospel. And and, 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 and and this is what Jesus Christ is saying, that many times in, in dealing with Christianity and dealing with discipleship, we talk gossip. Yeah, yeah, say that. So that the world cannot understand the gospel. Christ is saying that the only way that a person will know you is by the love you have toward one another. Yeah. That's some scriptures that you need to know. Oh, Ramana, you just talking. No, 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 no. There are some scriptures that you need to know. Let me look at them. First John 3, 23. Yes. Let's dissect them. So you'll know I'm just not talking. Uh -huh. First John 3, 23. <laughs> it says this. And this is the command, Jesus says to believe in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and to love one another as he commanded us. Yes. That in order to show that you are a true disciple, there are two things that you have to do. Number one, first of all, you got to believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And secondly, you have to love one another as he commanded us to do. Verse 24 puts it together when he says these things. Those who obey his command yes. live in him uh -huh. and he in them. And this is how we know that he lives in us is by the spirit yeah. that he's given off. Mm -hmm. Oh, no matter what you do in life, True Christianity and true, true discipleship is based on two things. Number one, you have to believe in Jesus Christ. And the second thing is that you have to love one another. Amen. Listen to this right here. Listen to this right here. 1 John 4, 1 through 6. Let's turn to it. First John, I want you to see this. This is how you develop it. First John 4, 1 through 6. It says this. Dear friend, do you believe every spirit? Uh -huh. But test the spirit to see whether they are from God. Yeah. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. Yeah. If it's based on God, it has nothing to do with evil. Yeah, right. 
If it's based on God, it has nothing to do with evil. You can't think evilness and then say you are based on God. Every spirit that acknowledge that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, yes, yes. which you have heard is coming, and even now is already in the world. I want to let you know something, Lane. The devil is for real. For real, for real. The, I'm talking about the devil is for real. When these folks start talking about why you carry a gun? Because the, I'm ready to shoot somebody. Oh yeah, that, that joke is for real. And they don't mind killing you when they said they are, are possessed by the devil. Yeah. Let me tell you why. You eat TV. You drink TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 think about nothing but love. And sex. Yeah, yeah. And what you call those other games they play on TV? No, no, no. Video game. Mess up your mind real quick. Real quick. That's all you're thinking. That's all you're thinking. So, so what happens is you're leaving room for the devil to come in. And it's been studies done that that when they play those video games and they get a high from shooting folks, they start believing that it's for real. So that's why when they go in and shoot folks, they're grinning. <laughs> because they are possessed by the devil. They don't study no Christianity. They don't talk about the Lord. All you do is eat and sleep that job. And it will mess up your mind. Listen right here, verse 4. Dear children, you dear children are from God and have overcome them. Talking about the Antichrist. Because the one who is in you is greater than the one who's in the world. Yeah. We need to let people know that I'm, I'm possessed by Jesus. They are from the world and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world. And the world listens to them. Uh -huh. You know how you believe that you're from the world? You start believing that it's not who you know. I mean, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever got to that point and say, I move up by who yeah. I know? Yeah. No, 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 no. If you know Jesus Christ, everything will be all right. Now, it helps to know some people. Uh -huh. don't, go, don't go telling folks off time I don't need you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It helps to, have to be in the, in the know. But, but your ultimate faith has to be in Christ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when your ultimate faith is in Christ, then everything else everything will be all will right. Be all right. That's right. 1 John 4, 7 through 12. Now, this is how it's developed right here. This is good stuff. Dear friend, look at that here. Let us love one another. Uh -huh. For love comes from God. Yes. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God, what? Love. Is love. You can't say you love God. And do evil to folks that don't like them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say that. Say this that. is how God shows his love among us. He sent his only and only son into the world that the world might live through him. This is love. Yes. But that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son a total sacrifice for our sins. Uh -huh. Dear friends, listen to this. Since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us. And his love has made complete in us. True discipleships 
starts when we love one another. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Just as Jesus took his disciples together. No, no, this sermon is not for the world. It's for lame. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, say that. Amen. For those that have been saved, those that know God, those that every day that we have to love one another. One another. You, you can't love one another and talk about pastor. Why? No, 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 no. And you just can't do it. You, you can't love one another and then go talk about your neighbor. Yeah. No, no. You can't do it. Say that. Give me two more minutes. Let me close out. Yeah. True love involves three things. Uh-huh. Look at it. If you have true love, you automatically have three things. Number one, yeah. true love has self-denial. Yeah. This is how you measure love. Self-denial. It's not about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about the other person. If you want to look at it according, according to Christianity, Luke 14, 26. True love involves self-denial. Yeah. Jeremiah? Yes, sir. If you love Lerani, <laughs> you give up more than you give. Thank you. That's right. Self-denial. You like that, don't you? But let me tell you something. If you love Jeremiah, that means that you give him more than about you. Oh, hey, self-denial. Yes, Sister Hitch, Brother Hitch, y'all gonna tell him how long you've been married? Too long. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. Self-denial. You're in trouble now. <laughs> self-denial. That's what it's all about. How many of y'all in here? True love is what? Self-denial. Deny yourself. Self-denial involves true love. Right. Another thing that true love involves, number two, cross-bearing. Yeah, yeah. True love involves cross-bearing. Yeah. There are some things that you have to go through. Yeah, yeah. And you have to get to that point where you're able to go and tell a person, you know what? I was just mad and just wrong. And can you forgive me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the number one thing. <laughs> asking for forgiveness. Amen. And the third thing, I told you, give me two minutes. The third thing that true love has, they have what? Self-denial and cross-bearing. But when you have true love, it also involves fruitfulness. Yes, growth. Fruitfulness. If you at the same place you were this time five years ago, some ain't right. Come on, sir. Right. Come on, sir. All That's right. right. All right. Some ain't right. What you doing? And if it's always somebody else's fault, mm -hmm. my trouble that you have is, if you ain't never that fault, yeah. I want to let you know it's really your fault. All right. All right. So All right. true love is fruitfulness. Yes. Look at yourself in the mirror. So that's you can go ready. Get ready. Look at yourself in the mirror. Today, take a picture. Yeah. And five years from now, look at yourself again. My if you ain't looking better. How about that? Something wrong. Something wrong. Because age grows with beauty. I know that right. Huh? Mm -hmm. And wisdom. That's what discipleship is all about. Let the church say amen.